check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. I gotta tell you, I've become quite soft having used the cylinder mode for the last few months. The rotary at least gave me some exercise. Man alive, I've got a week. <sighs> spoiled, spoiled breath, that's what I am. That thing, after its little service, feels like 4,000 bucks all over again. Very, very happy, minus the fact that I have to push it. Goeiemorgen, Mikey's. Travis, what on earth are you doing here? It looks like you're sculpting your lawn. Well, effectively, yes, I am sculpting my lawn, but it's actually just for a heart of cut reset, which is one of the topics that we're going to discuss today. The other is the one third rule and how it looks in practice. I think a lot of guys experience the breaking of the one third rule, especially with grasses like a Kuyu, unintentionally. And I thought it'd be a good example to show you three different mower heart positions and how they look after you've done each one of them. All right, so for those of you who watched the channel previously, uh, you'll know that I had done an application of serviette on the lawn, uh, let it grow out for a little while, we've had lots of rain, so the grass ended up getting a little bit long in this time frame. Interestingly enough, the grass only got up to, in the majority of the area, 40 millimeters, which indicates a rate of growth at around about 10 mils per week. Now that rate of growth is the thing that you need to pay attention to, and that's why I was holding a ruler just now. You need to measure your lawn every time before you mow it. So you go outside, you measure your lawn, you see, oh, it's 40 millimeters tall, and I want it to be, let's say, 30 millimeters, then you're good to go. You're only taking off less than one third, you're taking off only a quarter of the lawn, and that's perfectly fine. You can go ahead and mow, and you'll have a successful result. But what if you wanted it to be 20 millimeters? Well, then in effect, you need to do what's called a heart of cut reset. You need to bring it down to maybe 10 or 15 mils and then let it slowly grow back into that 20 mil mark. You have to go below that point that you want to achieve so that you don't have the sculpting effects that you see when you break the one third rule. So just to show you quickly, the way to measure your grass is to take out a ruler. This one's used for measuring steel, so it starts at zero, you can see there. And you just move the grass out the way until you get to soil level. You stick it in the ground and then you see how tall the grass is. All right, so let's cut to the practical examples that I recorded yesterday. So the very first one is where I set up the mower to just be on the one third rule. So I measured the grass, I did a little bit of a test patch to make sure that what I achieved was only one third, just on one third of the leaf removed in that one mower. So have a look at that quick. So as you can see there, the grass came out looking perfectly green. You can see I just took a little bit off and it came out 
no problem, even with my lumpy grass, I had no scalping effect. So in the second position, you can see that I dropped it just below the one third mark. So I cut, breaking the rule basically. And you can see there very clearly, or at least you will see it now, that there's a little bit of a yellow discoloration and there are some patches that got lightly sculpted. Let's have a look at that quickly. And then the third position is actually my mower's old height of cut. It's my regular mower. So before I got Frankenstein, I used to mow at that position for yonks for a long time. So it, it's another indication. You can't just go back to wherever it what last was that you saw on your mower that you were happy with that physical position. So for me, I'll hit it back. You can still tell that mark in the middle there, that bad mark. That is my old normal height of cut and the grass always used to be green back then. So here you can see there after having it let it grow out for some time that old achievable height of cut is now a scalp so have a look at that quick Alright, so you can see there the physical example of how breaking the one-third rule gives you that sculpt effect. So for some guys who didn't know that they were sculpting, they just noticed all of a sudden they got this yellow discoloration. You know, sometimes you can be blamed for having blunt mower blades or so maybe there's an insect issue or so something. Sometimes it's just that your grass grew a little bit taller than what you thought it would be and you left your mower in the same position that you do every other day. But you must remember that the rate of growth is always different and yes sometimes that unfortunately means that you might have to mow more often or use plant growth regulators but as i've said before you don't use them until you know that your turf is already in a very good position now the flip side to all of this is that if you just keep lifting your height of cut all the time what happens is the density that that thatchy looking brownish yellowish stuff that's you know closer to the ground that starts to work its way up so that comes to the reason for our second portion of this video and that's that you need to reset your height of cut every now and then. And that in effect is exactly what I'm doing right now. This is my first pass basically of a light sculpt, which is essentially what it is. The objective is that I want to get back to, I don't want to be mowing at 40 millimeters, which is where my grass was at. I don't want to be mowing at even 30 millimeters. I want to get back to 15 millimeters. So I now need to bring this down slowly without damaging my mowers, without ripping out chunks of the grass. So that means start at a relatively high position and do it multiple times until you get down to, for me, maybe eight or 10 millimeters. And then I am below where I want to be. And as the grass starts to grow more leaf matter below that eight or 10 millimeter mark, which is what it will do, it will still have that little stubby look on the surface. That doesn't go away. Eventually what happens is some of it will get mowed out and eventually you'll thicken up. But one of the best things to do that I find is go way below where you want to be and then mow at that for at least three, four, five sessions and then start to raise your height of cut just a mill at a time until you achieve that approximate 13 to 15 millimeter mark. That way you've got the green turf and you've not sculpted anything and you've got a successful sword that is going to be healthy because the leaf tip is more complete. All right, that's about it. Now you must remember that there's going to be limits to certain grass types. So the best thing to do is just go and investigate. You've got to identify what grass you have first. I think most people by now, or at least by watching these videos, kind of know what grass they have. Go and do a bit of research. Find where its minimums are, like where you know, statistically speaking, where it's going to become damaged when you mow below it. So in South Africa, where we're quite a bit warmer, the guys growing cool season turfs, you don't want to go and take them from having run at maybe 60 mils down to five mils to achieve a 10 mil mow you to do that in one go you might sustain some serious damage so i would rather say break the one third rule a couple of times and see how the grass responds first kakuyu and bermuda if it's during the growing season even not you can just clap it back and it will probably grow back and then you'll benefit from having given it a heart of cut reset semi-regularly all right and that's it Getting that one-third rule right means that you're going to achieve a greener lawn 
for a longer period of time and it's going to be much healthier as well. And as soon as you see that things are starting to go a little bit haywire, then that's when you're going to do a little heart of cut reset. And it doesn't have to be a full scalp like what I've done now. If you're maintaining and you know what heart you're trying to achieve, then you know where your boundaries are and where your limits are. And your heart of cut reset will be much less of a severe scalp like what mine is now for you in future. Anyway, hope you found that useful. Please like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.